From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley with today's mid-morning update. You know what we're going to call this video? We're going to call it Welcome to the 2014 Second Quarter Rebalance. The high of the day in the S&P came in at 1956.30. The low came in at, nine, excuse me, 1950.80. And last, we're 1954.5. half. We're up 2.5 handles. Total volume, guys, is very low. Remember, Mondays are one of our vo lowest volume days of the month, and with this being the holiday week, we can expect some extremely low volumes. But we had 125,000 minis traded in Globex, and we've got a total of 570,000 traded. That means we've got a total of 445,000 minis traded in the, in, the, in, glo in, in the day session so far. Being 10.30 Central Time, that's not all that good. In the, in the big pit, in the, in the S&P pit, we got 1.5 thousand big S&Ps traded. Now, what we, what, we're, what we were concerned about coming in was the overnight Globex trading range. At 6 in the morning, it was only 3.75 handles, and there was almost no volume. Now, I want to talk real quick about the walkaway trade. The walkaway trade is something that the pit bull and I used to look at at the old CME and the open outcry in the S&P pit. Now, I don't know that if it got used up or it just became out of fashion or whatever, but back in the day when we would do this trade, the idea was to come in, start, start selling the S&P around 12, you know, 11.30, 12 o'clock, 12.30, 1 o'clock, have some type of scale in there, and that, let the S&P take out those offers with the idea that at some point, the mutual funds and in the investment firms that buy stock going into the end of the end of the quarter, into the end of the quarter, will use up all their buying power, thus leave the S&P susceptible to some type of sell-off. Now, if you combine that with the second quarter, the two quarter, the two quarter rebalance, there could be some type of residual selling here. But you know what? I think you got to go back to Friday's Russell rebalance where everybody thought maybe they were going to do a little flunk and then they went up and they made late new highs. So, you know, that's the big thing that I'm concerned about is that really I think this goes back to one thing and one thing only. It's called my trading rule, thin to win. And I think that it, whether it prevails today, it's going to prevail during the week. Historically, the, the week of the the week of the before the Fourth of July is a very very bullish week, and I think it's going to happen that way. But listen, we, we don't want to re overemphasize. We don't want to re, re overemphasize this rebalance. So you know what? We're going to leave it like that. We've got quiet volumes. The trading floor is quiet. Jack from Bros on Bonds just came on the chat and said that there was some action over in the currency options, but overall. The only walking away that's going to be going on this week is people going on vacation and off these trading floors. We'll leave it like that. We'll see you guys in a little bit.